Hello everyone, back again with another haul. This is Op Shops for probably about the last week or so. Um, this is actually going to be quite an interesting haul today. Definitely stick around to the end because a few of the things I found this week are probably the best jewellery finds I've had in Op Shops probably for the last year. Uh, so stick around for them. I'll go through and I'll show you the non-jewellery items first. I um, For anyone who doesn't know, I think I've said that I collect pink things, but the other thing I collect is brass items. So some of these I'll be keeping and some I'll be putting up for sale on my eBay store, but I'll go through and I'll show you what we found. So yesterday hubby and I went to a shop and we got this very cute little brass gong with a little gonger and that was $5. I'm still deciding if we're going to keep that or whether that'll end up in my eBay store. This very cool bowl, um, brass bowl with a glass, I'm mean, sorry, brass stand with a glass bowl, matches one I have in my bathroom. Hubby found it for $4 from the op shop yesterday, and I'm so excited about that. I'm actually going to keep soaps in it in my bathroom. The next brass things we got are these gorgeous bow hooks. Now, if Annie is watching my video, I actually have got one of these still at any shop that I have to go and pick up exactly the same one. So I'm end, going to end up having three of the bigger ones and three of the little ones. So I'll be able to put them on my wall. I actually use them to hang my handbags. So the larger ones were $3 each and the three smaller ones and they included the, the um, screws were $2 each. So I'm really, really wrapped about those. So I'll have a set of six. The next brass item I found was this two dolphins on the little stand. And I think that was $7.50. I really like brass animals. And then the last brass one I found was this little butterfly. And it's actually got its original tag. Uh, 24 karat gold plated, Austrian crystal. And I've got a few of these. I've got a little turtle and some other ones. And that was only a dollar. So I think that was all the brass items that I got. Uh, from the same shop that we got the bows from, Hubby and I picked these up, and these we picked up for eBay. These are actually Royal Selangor Pewter candlesticks. They're very Art Nouveau design, really, really pretty, and they were three dollars, um, three dollars each actually. But we thought they were really lovely because now we have the eBay, so we're looking for pieces to sell as well as looking for pieces for my collection. Then moving around to other non-jewelry items, we found this actually yesterday in an op shop. It's a cake slice and it is marked whoop, 835 and we actually got that for $15 and I haven't weighed it but I think it's definitely worth more than that in scrap. So we grabbed that and that'll be going away in our collection. And then the other thing I found was this pair of spoons. Now I don't normally buy these, um, that's not going to focus, these advertising spoons. So I've got to put my hand behind it because they're not often silver, but these had a different tone to them and they actually stamped 90 on the back and they were only a dollar. So I thought I'll grab them because I'm gonna test these to see and they're Hamburg and it's a little spoon and fork. But I thought due to the stamp on them, you know, I would take the punt on them. So I grabbed those for a dollar and I haven't tested those yet. From the same op shop we got the spoons from, I'll get onto some jewelry. I got this little brooch, it was a dollar. That will be headed to my eBay store. Very cute. It's got a lovely, like, it's like a crest with a lion. And then I'll just go and start over here and show you some more jewelry. These rings here are wooden ones. I got them for a dollar each from a local op shop, and they've got like a brass inlay. And I just thought they were really pretty. They had quite a few of them in the cabinet, and they were all a dollar. And I thought they'd be really lovely for the eBay store because they're very sort of boho designs. And I thought they would go really, really well. And there was quite a few of those. So I grabbed those for a dollar each. Then I got this beautiful cloisonne vintage necklace for $2 from a different op shop. Actually, a lot of these are mixed up. So some of them are from different ones we picked up on different days. From another op shop, I think this one was $5. It's Mark Sterling Silver Bethlehem. And it's a mother of pearl in sterling silver brooch for $5. I got this sterling silver and mother of pearl. It's a really interesting. It's like got the shell underneath and then it's the sterling ring and it's got this cage over the top. And that was $3. From the same shop I got this brooch from, I grabbed this for 50 cents. It's a little Estee Lauder um, purse hanger. And I thought for 50, oh, I just dropped it. I thought for 50 cents, that's really cute probably end up in my eBay store. 
Then from one of my regular stores that we go to all the time, I got quite a few pieces this week, including some really, really interesting, lovely pieces. But these are some cheaper bits that I picked up. I got this very cool bracelet from their $1 rack, it, only because it has a cute little sheep on it. And these are natural beads. And then when I got home, I had a look up the name on here. I'm going to have to put it the other way so I can read it. Petals. And these go for about $30 on eBay. So for a dollar, I thought that was pretty good. I just liked it because it had a little sheep. This one here was a dollar also. The It's a leather bracelet with this is all sterling silver here and a sterling silver clasp. But the leather has well and truly gone. But it was a dollar, so I grabbed it for the scrap silver. And the other piece we got from their dollar rack was this. And it's a Pandora. Sometimes I wonder when you go into shops. I mean, that's clearly marked Pandora and it has a Pandora charm as well. Sorry, I'm having trouble with focusing today. And that was a dollar. So I grabbed those. And from the same store, they have a 50 cent earring basket. And I got these sterling silver little rose earrings for 50 cents. So that was a good score there. And actually, there's a couple of bits. I'll stop here to tell you about the other bits we got. The same day that I got those, they actually had a junk bag on the counter that was $3 junk jewelry. It was supposed to be all broken. And I got that bag and I sorted through it. The junk jewelry I've already discarded. But there was one nine karat gold beaded necklace in there that was broken but I've already scrapped that and I'll explain to you why normally I would show it in a video first before I would go and scrap it but we were there inquiring about another piece and thought that we would just we were already there so we would just scrap those pieces as well I also found a couple of other pieces that I'd scrapped which was a little nine carat tiny small I think it was 1.2 grams a little small nine carat ring a small 18 carat gold ring and another pair of earrings that were nine karat gold and I paid a couple of bucks each for them from different op shops. So you don't get to see those, sorry, because they've already been scrapped and they were, the only reason we scrapped them is because they're bent or broken. So anything that's still good, we keep, but yeah, we got rid of those, but they were from the same shop that I got these from. The next bit we got was this sterling silver chain with a little um, pendant and a chain and that was $1. And then getting on to the nicer pieces we found this week, from the same shop where I got all these bits, they also have a $5 tray there. And this week I found in the $5 tray these two pieces. This one here is Mark Sterling Silver, and it's all natural pearls. So it's all different colors. And it's really, really lovely. It's got the black and the purple and the white. Really nice. So I grabbed that for $5. Then... The interesting piece I got in this lot from that store was this. If anyone recognizes it already? It says Burberry, Swiss made. And the reason I grabbed it, see there? I could see a tiny stamp on it, but I couldn't read what the stamp was. But it is really, really heavy, like really heavy. And I thought, you know what? I've seen a little stamp and it looks tarnished, although I think it's, sterling silver with gold plating over the top anyway I got it home and I looked it up and it is a genuine Burberry bracelet it actually has a little um, ruby in the side there and these are all um, sterling silver charms too so you look these up online they're quite a few hundred dollars so that was a really good score and I paid five dollars for that but for the sterling silver alone but it was well worth grabbing I'll be definitely putting that away so that was my big score from that shop then yesterday, Hubby and I went for a day out. We actually had an appointment and we went to a few shops we hadn't been to before. And I found some really, really good scores. Probably, like I said, the best scores I've had in a while jewelry-wise. And the first one, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you already would have seen this first one. If anyone recognizes what it is. And the reason I was even more excited was because it's a J and that's my husband's initial. I would have loved if it was my initial, but it is Tiffany & Co., and it's on a genuine, I'll just show you the chain, Tiffany, oh, Tiffany and Co chain, fully marked. And this wasn't cheap, cheap. It was $40. And the reason that they'd marked it $40 is because they didn't know if it was genuine or not. I got this from a Vinnie's um, and they were putting it at $40 thinking, well, it's sterling silver. And if it's not genuine, at least it's a nice sterling silver necklace. And if it is genuine, then someone's getting a bargain. So I grabbed this for $40 and I looked it up and I've checked it over and it is definitely genuine. And this would retail around the $350 to $400 mark with the chain. 
So that was a really good score. And I've actually had to take it off to even do this video because I've been wearing it ever since. I absolutely am wrapped about that. Then the last op shop that we went to, I found, like I said, my best score. But I will show another piece. I actually went back there again this morning to see if I could find any more. And this morning I found this watch there. And it's a little vintage one. But I know the reason I grabbed it, normally I don't buy vintage watches, was because I saw this hanging off the side. And it is marked oh, nine carat. So this watch was $5, but it had a nine carat gold charm. The previous owner maybe was religious and, and had added it to the side. So not only did I score this gorgeous condition vintage watch for $5, but it has a nine carat gold charm on it. But getting back to my best find. So we went into the op shop and on the shelf, we saw this. This set and hubby had actually looked at it already and then he passed it over and it had a mark in a, name, a jeweler's name in the top but actually the box is pretty shabby for what it is like even this insert in the top's pretty loose and I had a look at it and I noticed on the back of the earrings these screw backs and I'd actually literally just had a conversation with someone the week before about how Indian gold earrings have these certain screw backs on the back I think it was actually someone commented maybe on one of my videos as well about it and it made me have a closer look at this because this box was actually $12 and I had a closer look at it and I saw the pearls and the coral and when I turned it over I don't know if you can see this here see that little mark it actually says 22 carat so I was like oh a lot of these are plated so I thought you know what it might just be plated but for $12 I thought either way it's a pretty set and that someone would likely want to buy it in the eBay store anyway so I ended up taking the punt on it and I grabbed it. Then I ended up going on the way home. We had to pick up our kids from school and we stopped at our place where we um, have things tested because they have an XRF gun there, which is much more accurate than acid testing. And I went in, I showed him it actually, the price tag was still on the box for $12. And I said, I've just grabbed this and I have a feeling that, it, you know, it might be plated, but they might be gold. And he tested them for me and he actually took a photo or let me take a photo of the XRF gun and they are solid 22 karat gold. So that, was amazing and we took them out of the box and weighed them and it's actually 15 grams of 22 karat gold or that's what they weigh with the stones in it which equates to about eight or nine hundred dollars in scrap and probably double that or more maybe two thousand dollars if I was to sell them but I won't be I'll be keeping that set excuse my sniffles so that is my best op shop find for a long time solid 22 karat gold with pearls and look at it, and coral and it's a matching set, which is amazing. And I actually posted it on a local op shop group saying, oh, look what I found, so exciting. And they said that this particular designer is from Sri Lanka and is a very well-known in um, jewellery designer. They do wedding jewellery. So that was really, really exciting. So what do you think of my haul for this week? A bit of an eclectic mix, but I think jewellery-wise, I really, really scored. Really, really happy with my Tiffany piece and the gold. You know, everyone loves gold. And this too, even this alone for $5, I think was a really, really good score. So yeah, leave me a comment, let me know what you think and please follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram because then you get to see little updates before I post a video. I will see you all again very shortly and as usual, thanks again for watching. Bye.